Hi everyone, I'm Holly from the A Plus team at Antajas. You are probably watching this video because you want to improve your English. I'm here to give you some tiny tips to make progress fast. So let's get going. Today's tiny tip is about time. If I ask you what time is it and you say sunny, then no, that is not correct. And that's a mistake that a lot of my students make because the word for time and the word for weather is the same word in a lot of European languages. But in English, when we talk about time, we talk about this. To help you understand the concept of time, let's take a look at this strange screen. Okay, this will help us to tell time. We say tell time, like tell a story. So we have three colorful circles and each circle represents a clock. We have the 24 hour clock and we have two 12 hour clocks that go from one to 12 and one to 12. So let's take a look at this first clock. This represents the 24 hour clock, as I said, but the 24 is crossed out and we have some smileys with their mouths zipped. Why is that? That's because this clock is never spoken unless you work in the travel industry or for the media. Okay. And this clock we will see, this clock is also used by the army, the American army. Okay. So, to understand this a little bit better, um, we know that we can see this written on travel itineraries, um, especially in the UK. Okay, so it's written on a piece of paper, for example, Air France, flight 042, departing at 22 hours. But an American itinerary would read Air France, flight 042, departing at 10 p.m. I also mentioned that the army uses that, for example, dinner at 1800 hours. A bit strange for us. Okay, the next clock, uh, the first 12 hour clock, this blue clock, I call the reading clock because in English we read from left to right, left to right. So let me explain this to you. This, uh, this clock, as I mentioned, is a 12 hour clock and we read from left to right in the 12 hour format. Careful. Okay. This is more of an American influence. So this is an AM PM clock. AM from midnight to noon or midday and PM for noon to midnight. Okay. So for example, if we see this 1945, we can't say that. So in this sentence, I'll meet you at 7.45 p.m. We write it like this, okay? And we say it like this. Okay, and let's eat at 1.05 p.m. If you are thinking this time, 13.05, you can't say 13.05, you must say 1.05 p.m. Okay, we will see these examples also on the next clock. Let's take a look at now the green clock. This is what I call the hungry food clock for two reasons. Uh, first reason is that native English speakers like to eat a lot. But the other reason is because we're hungry. We start with the portions. So this is my pizza clock and we have portions. We have a quarter, a half, and even minutes. This clock uses past and two. Past goes from one minute to 30 minutes and two goes from 31 minutes to 59 minutes. Let's take a look at this in detail. 
Um, so this is more of a British influence or more of a European clock. So it's not an AM PM clock. It's in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. For example, using the same sentence we used before, I'll meet you at, we see 1945, we don't say that. I'll meet you at a quarter to eight in the evening. The second example, okay, let's eat at five past one. We see 1305, but we say five past one. Okay, so this concept is rather complex. It's not easy. Don't hesitate to leave any questions or comments below. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I had fun being with you today. I hope you watch our next video. Take care and see you soon. Bye.